school bullying is once again in the spotlight. The Limpopo Education Department is investigating a case of bullying after a, w a video went viral showing a pupil from Mbirui Secondary School in Toyando being violently confronted. It's been reported that the victim has taken their own life. Well, to speak to us about this, we're joined by the Limpopo Education MEC, Pauli Bushielo. Ms. Bushielo, good evening and thank you so much for your time. Firstly, let's just talk about this learner that was involved in this video and we, we can see her being shoved around and, and being assaulted. Um, just tell us what exactly happened to her and do we know yet what the cause of her death was? Good evening, Kathy, and good evening to your viewers. It's a very sad day in Limpopo. Uh, the information that I got uh, from the district director and the principal is that this fight of these two girls have been going on on the social media. Uh, she was bullied also still on the social media. So yesterday, as they went out of the schoolyard uh, on their way home, the fight started. Uh, the president of the RCL uh, tried to intervene and came and looked for the security to come and assist. Uh, the security guard went there and then there was peace and then they went away. So we were surprised when this morning we were told that the learner is no more. Where we are now at the moment, I'm still waiting for the official uh, report from the police uh, because uh, I hear it's a suicide. I'm not sure because it did not happen at the school. Uh, so I'm waiting for the official report from the school, uh, uh, from uh, the parents. Uh, we have sent the, uh, uh, the principal of the school and also the district director to the home of the learner to understand what is going on. But to say, Kathy, I've also talked to the commissioner of police in the province, General Lidoaba, and the MEC for Transport and Community Safety, Meluruli Ramakanya, that I want action to be taken as soon as possible because we can allow this kind of things to go on, especially in our schools where a, a great 10 learners, you know, fight such that somebody uh, takes life. So I can't comment on the suicide one, but it's a very sad day in Limpopo, Masi. MEC, you said that they had been bullying taking place and that this fight was also taking place on social media. Explain a little bit for us what was going on and was this before um, the video of, of them fighting ultimately went viral? Yes, the report that I got from the school is it was before. They were fighting on the social media. Uh, it's just that, uh, you know, social media, when people uh, fight, uh, some of us just laugh or just encourage it. So uh, I'm told that it has been going on uh, for some time until yesterday when it became too physical. But also what disappointed uh, me very much is that instead of learners trying to create peace or telling the teacher or somebody, an adult, to come and, and make peace among the learners, they just sit there and, and watched and then also taped the video. And now they then put it on social media because I have seen where learners, uh, the videos are on social media, they go immediately into mental depression because mm. unlike us adults, we are so used to being uh, insulted and being called names. So once it goes viral, uh, these learners, because they can't cope, you know, some take their life and some get into depression. So. I was very disappointed that instead of calling an adult to come and rescue the learner, they decided to cheer on and laugh. It also says to us, what kind of language or what are we saying to our children at home? Are we teaching them to tolerate violence like that and even laugh about it or even cheer about it? But also, why put it on the social media? You know, so that, that's a challenge that I'm having at the moment. One of the things that has been raised by your department today is that there have been increasing reports of bullying in the province. Speak to me a bit more about that and also whether or not um, this, this increase in bullying is also specifically related to cyberbullying as well. The, 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 the second one happened at Mugalakwena at a school called Intuba. Uh, I think also we saw it in the social media where two girls were fighting each other there. 
uh, uh, this one I haven't yet received reports that uh, it was quelled by social media. Uh, and the other one in uh, George Study Technical School, one learner stepped, another one, and the one who stepped is at the hospital. So I have said to our, because we convened the executive management agently, I have said to them, the principal must open cases. And these three learners from Bilwi, from Tuba, and from George Study must be arrested. And those learners who were chairing there must be suspended and they must come with their parents and come and, and you know, show remorse that whatever they were doing and, you know, even taking it to the social media instead of reporting it, you know, it's wrong. So we must teach them that uh, they need to bring peace. They don't need to encourage and cheer people when they do wrong things. So uh, we're going to do that immediately. And I said by tomorrow, 10 o'clock, I want to report that all these three learners are jailed because we want to send a very strong message as the Department of Education in Limpopo that we will never tolerate any bullying at our school because the only place where we can develop our children is at school. So uh, learners can't drop from school because somebody decided to bully them. So we are going to send a very strong uh, language. We'll never tolerate it. I said by 10 o'clock, the cases should have been opened and the three learners should be in jail. And those who are cheering, uh, we've got their pictures, we know their pictures, they will also have to answer. Bullying itself is, is not a new phenomenon in schools. I suppose it takes on a, a different form, especially uh, when we involve social media. But I would imagine that, that schools should have the tools necessary to respond or even to intervene in situations before they escalate to the point that, that we have seen now. I mean, is there a level of responsibility, in your view, on schools to be able to intervene and mediate um, in, in some of these dis disputes, especially because often, um, as you're saying, they, they're known to, to the learners and in all likelihood should be known to the educators as well. Remember, uh, Kathy, uh, this incident happens out of the school. Mm. You see, it then come to us as parents to say, what are we saying to our children? Do we know what our children are doing at school? Do we know how our children are handling others at school? Because, you know, my sense will say, these children see what is happening at home, how we, uh, maybe there's violence at home, how we talk to each other. Maybe they see somebody beating uh, an, another one in front of them. And as you know, they, they are kids, they are learners. Then they, they want to imitate what they see at home. I think as a nation, we must stand up and teach our children the correct manners and correct ways and say gender violence is, is, is a no-go area. So I, I, I think it needs all of us. That's why we say education is a societal matter. We can't wait for this to come and happen and then start thinking and pointing figures. I think we must just start at home. Just a courtesy to say uh, you don't have to fight if you differ. You know, if somebody uh, has maybe insulted you, you go and report it to your teacher or you report it to, to your parents and then the parents can go to the parents of the other learner and they make peace. That's how we grew up. Uh, we don't kill each other or we don't make each other go to that. As, as far as the social media is concerned, Kathy, you know, there's no way in which you can stop anybody from accessing it. Uh, it's a fact. Our learners access it. Uh, they see what is happening there. They even go to websites that are not supposed to go there and they see these things happening. And as children, they imitate. So. Uh, at school, we try as much as possible. That's why they will do it outside school, not inside the, 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 the schoolyard. Polly Bushello, we're going to leave it there for tonight. She is the Limpopo Department's MEC for Education.